Good morning, everybody. Alan at uh, TFT Trailers. Uh, today, picking up a brand new unit. Kind of want to just do a walk around on it. Kind of show what we're offering for 2024. This is a 20 foot, 7,000 pound GVWR. Uh, this one is in charcoal gray, as you can see, which is a really, really sharp color. Uh, this one we did uh, upgrade with the aluminum rims. And naturally, we have the uh, matching spare tire and wheel. Uh, this is a 2024 model, so it does have the new Demco Auto Lock 2 inch, 7,000 pound rated coupler. Um, we've got the new Nomo Ramps decal on the wind fairing. Uh, this one also has the TFT exclusive uh, water resistant toolboxes with the uh, top plate winch mount. This trailer is winch ready, which I will show you here in just a little bit. It does have the battery tray in the passenger side toolbox and it also has the charger built in up underneath the trailer so that when you do put a battery in it will charge uh, the new boxes the lids so you've got the uh, rubber seal around to help keep the water out so far it is like i've seen it like 99.999 percent waterproof uh, only one time with the pressure washer did i see a little bit of water get in one of them and the seal was off just a little bit uh, your breakaway battery and everything is in there. Uh, this trailer comes standard with the four 6,000 pound D-rings, which we kept those, but then I also had it built with the uh, two full lengths of E-Track. Uh, E-Track's become extremely popular as far as the tie-down method instead of using, uh, you know, the old auto tie-down straps and everything. I really like the charcoal gray. Really makes a really, really nice looking trailer. I am actually at the factory picking this one up. Just pulled it out. So it is immaculate. <laughs> uh, deep toolbox, as you can see there. And then this is the passenger side. As you can see, it's winch ready and it's got the uh, battery tray already in the bottom. Your charge wire is already here. It's taped up because it is live. And then uh, the ground wire is actually right here. And then there's all you hold down for your battery and everything. Uh, this will be posted to the website probably today or tomorrow. And it is available at this time. All right, so everybody's always asking me to do a uh, walk around of the operation of the trailer, which I pretty much do one on every single one of them. But uh, today, since I'm at the factory, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show the operation. Uh, as always, first thing you do is pull the pin at the front. We're going to walk back here and we're going to engage the parking brake. Parking brake is on the rear axle only. We're going to remove a safety pin. And then we're going to pull the main locking pin and we're going to turn it 90 degrees. Now we're ready to roll the trailer back to the loading position. I'm going to simply jump in the truck. We're going to back up. And it rolls back and then it gets to the stopping point. This is a 20 foot. Uh, so this one right here is a, a five degree load angle. Um, makes it super, super easy. Uh, being 20 foot and the load angle, you can load the car on it. Uh, it's very easy to get out of the car with the car doors. You don't have to worry about removing the fenders because your actual car door is basically right here on the thing. I get so many people say, well, how do I, how do I open my, my car door over the fenders? Well, you don't have to because you actually get out of the car before you pull it forward. So get the car loaded on there, get out of the car, and then what we want to do is we want to pull it forward before we tie it down. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the main locking pin 90 degrees so that as I pull forward, I want to hear that pin engage. And then depending on what you're loading or pulling forward, what I do is I override my brake control so that all four brakes are energized and then it'll pull forward and then it'll lock in place. So jump in your vehicle, manually override your brake control, put it in drive and pull forward and listen. Okay, 
I'm actually, you may not be able to see me, but I'm actually looking out the window, watching the trailer, but then I also heard it engage. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here to the back. We're gonna visually look and make sure that it did. And then I'm gonna visually also look and make sure that the safety pin is lined up. That tells me kind of a secondary deal that it is in the lock position. And then the safety pin, the safety pin is locked. Now what you always wanna do is make sure that you release the parking brake. If you don't release the parking brake, you're gonna burn up the parking brake pads on the rear axle. I generally tell people at delivery, don't forget to release the parking brake and don't ever loan this out to your friends because if you do, they will forget to release the parking brake. Last thing you do is install the pin at the front. Strap the vehicle down. Um, I always walk around it, make sure everything's in really good shape, uh, and then you're ready to go.